Now, by during the arena, you may recognize the name, but this bad bot is back with a brand new face and an even bigger bite. It's Job Rich. Descended from a former Robotica finalist, this two-wheeled bot has all new chops. Built in a scissor configuration, these teeth chop with 3,000 pounds of force, and with an invertible design, Jawbreaker's Revenge can eat while standing on his head. And Jawbreaker's Revenge was designed by Tim Burghoffer. Tim was a contestant on the first season of Robotica, and after his defeat in the finals, Tim started plotting Jawbreaker's Revenge. And tonight, he hopes to take that revenge and Robotica gold. We're back with a new and improved robot, Jawbreaker's Revenge. It's got three times the crushing force of the other one, and we're hoping to get somebody in those jaws. And his opponent, he's an explosive little guy with an act for sticking his bus on nose in all the wrong places. It's Buzzbomb. At a sparse 90 pounds, Buzzbomb may not tip the back of the scale, but he'll definitely register on the record. Two horsepower churn his four pneumatic wheels, and his seven-inch buzzsaw spins at a robotically lethal 4,800 RPM. And Buzzbomb's builder is John Hoffman. John is a family man first, and a robot builder second. So when this medical equipment engineer designed Buzzbomb, he turned to his family to help test it. Needless to say, it passed with flying colors. Now John's about to put Buzzbomb to the ultimate test. Buzzbomb may be small, but he's fast and powerful, and he's going to show these big bots a thing or two. Two robots with everything to lose, and they're about to put it all on the line in the gauntlet. And it goes a little something like this. Bust through the wood, pummel the cans, beat the bricks, and waste the blocks. Through the rubble, then it's up the ramp, and through the glass, and the gauntlet's yours. On that note, let's go down to our very own robot expert, Dan Dignan. Thanks, Tanya. Jawbreaker's Revenge is a popular and well-designed robot. Look for driver Tim Bernhofer to literally balance his way over the debris field while racing around his track. But guess what? Newcomer Buzzbomb is going to do the same thing because he's also light, fast, and has ample ground clearance. Plus, at 90 pounds, Buzzbomb's four-wheel design will be a lot easier to drive than Jawbreaker's two-wheel configuration. Look for both of these bots to tear through this event Meet at the ramp, where they'll have to duke it out to see who makes it to the center arena first. Thanks, Dan. It's workout time. Keep up if you can. Robot. Robot ready. Who's 
spots. And here are the scores. Jawbreakers advance with 85 points, beating Buzzbomb, who's got 40.